what's the best free password manager? In this video, I'll be taking a look at the most popular free options to discover which one is right for you. I'll even be taking a look at Apple and Google's built-in password managers to see how they stack up against third-party options. There are quite a few password managers on the market, and most of them have a free plan. However, I want to focus on the ones with the most generous free plans, and the ones I think most people consider using. So in today's video, I'll be comparing LastPass, Bitwarden, ProtonPass, Google Password Manager, and iCloud Keychain. Let's start with the ease of use of these password managers. There's no denying that integrated options like Google Password Manager or iCloud Keychain are going to be the easiest to use. You don't have to install anything. No browser extensions, no apps, it just works out of the box. They also both support autofilling, and that's the most important feature of any password manager. For third-party password managers, ProtonPass is the easiest to use. You will have to install an app and an extension, but once you download it and set it up, the interface is simple and easy to navigate. One thing that bothers me about ProtonPass is the lack of a web vault and desktop apps. Yes, there are mobile apps and browser extensions, and the experience is intuitive in both of these, but as your vault grows in size and you wanna manage a large amount of passwords, this can be a pain without any sort of full screen UI. And the browser extension is restricted to this small little window, and obviously your mobile device itself is a smaller screen, so not being able to go into some sort of web interface and see all your passwords is definitely irritating. Now, LastPass is simple enough to use, but the Web Vault interface is cluttered. The settings screen is an absolute nightmare. There's stuff scattered everywhere, and it's been this way for years. I haven't really seen LastPass make any effort to improve the interface, and I would have liked to see improvement over the years. But it's still better than Bitwarden, which is the most difficult option to use on this list. Now, that's not to say Bitwarden requires you to be tech savvy or have all this skill to use, it's just cluttered and confusing. Bitwarden's free plan has a lot of features, but they're kind of just a bunch of drop downs and checkboxes and text boxes all over the screen. So you kind of have to learn the interface and where everything is located. Once you get this down, it's not that bad. But which password manager has the best features? Well, every password manager lets you store unlimited passwords for free. However, LastPass only lets you sync these passwords between one device type. You have to choose between computers, which includes all browsers running on desktops and laptops, or mobile, which includes smartphones, tablets, and smartwatches. So if you have a laptop and a phone, which I think most people do, that means you're not gonna be able to sync passwords between those devices on the LastPass free plan. LastPass was previously a wonderful free password manager, but because of these limitations, it's no longer an appealing option for most users. Bitwarden offers everything the average user would need for free. Unlimited passwords, autofill, sharing with up to two users, and email alias integration. This feature lets you integrate with email alias providers like Simple Login, Firefox, Relay, and Fastmail. This allows you to generate random, unique email addresses for each account in your vault. And that way, if a company starts sending you a bunch of spam mail or they sell that email and it ends up on some list, you can just cut off access to it and generate a new email. That way your primary email address is not the one getting all the spam. ProtonPass offers this email alias feature as well through their own in-house system, but you're restricted to 10 hide my email aliases in the free version. LastPass, Google Password Manager, and iCloud keychain all have a notes field where you can put whatever you want, but there's no way to create an actual custom field that's fillable or easy to copy with one click. And the features included in Google Password Manager and iCloud Keychain are very basic. You can use Google Password Manager on Google Chrome and on Android, and you can use iCloud Keychain on all Apple devices. Both offer a bare bones interface with username, password, and notes fields, and that's basically about it. The cross-platform restrictions and lack of custom fields are enough to deter me from using them. If you have a Mac and an Android phone or a Windows laptop and an iPhone, neither of these solutions are gonna be a good fit. The features and ease of use are important aspects of a password manager Manager, but ultimately, the most important aspect of any password manager is security. LastPass has a less than perfect reputation in this category. That's putting it nicely. They have suffered incident after incident 
after incident. In the latest breach, hackers successfully copied some password vaults, and worse, a potential link was made between this data breach and over $35 million in stolen cryptocurrency. Most of the victims who lost money in this incident were LastPass users, so security analysts believe it is likely that the theft occurred as a direct result of the LastPass breach. I want to be clear here that nothing is ever 100% secure. There will always be weaknesses in everything. However, LastPass has experienced an embarrassing amount of security incidents over the years, and its infrastructure is not as secure as it could be. Although 1Password is a paid product, so it's not directly part of this comparison, I can't help but point out how 1Password uses a secret key which is randomly generated for each user and requires that secret key to decrypt vaults in addition to the master password. The secret keys are not stored on 1Password servers, so if vaults were stolen like they were in the LastPass breach, hackers could try leaked passwords or common insecure passwords, but even if they had the correct master password, they still could not get into the vault without that randomly generated secret key. Meanwhile, with LastPass, if the hacker guesses the master password, that's it, they're into the vault. I would steer clear of LastPass for multiple reasons, but the poor security reputation alone is enough for me to not recommend them. Bitwarden and ProtonPass have not experienced any major security incidents, and I like that they're both open source. Both the client side and server side code for Bitwarden are open source and available for review online. In fact, you could actually host Bitwarden on your own server if you really wanted to. While ProtonPass is marketed as open source, they unfortunately only publish the code for the client side. The server side code is not open source and not available online, so there's not as much transparency as there is at Bitwarden. LastPass, Bitwarden, and ProtonPass all support two-factor authentication, though ProtonPass is the only one that supports physical security keys in the free version. LastPass and Bitwarden require you to upgrade to the premium version in order to use YubiKeys. With that being said, ProtonPass requires you to enable app-based two-factor authentication in order to pair a physical security key. And there's no way to remove app-based 2FA after you've paired your security key. It bothers me when apps do this because your account is only as secure as its weakest link. So if I'm forced to enable app-based two-factor authentication to pair my physical security key, why even bother with the security key? I have to have that app-based 2FA enabled anyway, and six-digit codes are often more convenient Convenient than digging a security key out of my pocket. And another thing I don't love about ProtonPass is the lack of a dedicated master password. Instead of a master password to protect your vault, you access ProtonPass through your unified Proton account. You'll use the same password for ProtonVPN, ProtonMail, and all other Proton services. Now, I get that you can and should treat your Proton account password like any other master password. Ideally, you want to be using a passphrase with four to five words with spaces in between numbers, capital letters, and maybe even some symbols. But still, it's just an icky feeling knowing that someone could access my passwords if they breach my ProtonVPN or ProtonMail account. And the same is true for Google Password Manager or iCloud Keychain. You access those vaults by logging in with your Google account or Apple account, so those accounts should be locked down with Fort Knox security. One thing I was curious about in my research is what the upgrade paths would look like for each of these password managers. If you outgrow the free plans, what are your options to upgrade later on? LastPass has a premium plan for $36 a year to unlock unlimited device types, physical security keys for two-factor authentication, emergency access, and one gigabyte of encrypted file storage. This is basically identical to Bitwarden's paid plan, only Bitwarden Premium is just $10 a year. And honestly, I think it's the only password manager worth upgrading on this list. You'll get Bitwarden Authenticator to store and sync 2FA codes in your vault, emergency access, file attachment, and a few other features. These additional features are well worth $10 a year, but I can't say the same thing about the ProtonPass paid plan. ProtonPass Plus is expensive. It's $48 a year to unlock all features. That's more expensive than 1Password and other premium password managers. I would not pay $48 a year just for ProtonPass Plus. Either stick to the free version or get ProtonPass Plus included with Proton Unlimited. But this is a comparison of the best free password managers, and there's no question that Bitwarden takes the cake. Bitwarden has absolutely everything most people need in a password manager. My only gripe is the interface is just ugly. 
It's clunky, it's cluttered, and it's confusing. But if you can learn where things are and see past the ugly interface, Bitwarden offers an amazing value for the $0 price tag. Proton Pass is the runner up, as I think it's the best elegant, easy to use, free password manager. There aren't any crippling limitations with the Proton Pass free plan, but it's definitely the polar opposite of Bitwarden. The interface is so clean, it's almost too simple. Most of this is because Proton Pass is so new. There's no web vault and no desktop apps. But if you want an approachable, simple password manager as someone who's not a tech enthusiast or someone who doesn't need all of the latest, greatest features, Proton Pass may be a good fit for you. If you want a password manager with a better security architecture and a cleaner interface, I would consider 1Password. Now, this video is not sponsored by 1Password. I just like their product and personally think it's the best password manager on the market. So for that reason, I recommend Bitwarden as the best free password manager and 1Password as the best premium password manager. I've got an entire tutorial on getting started with Bitwarden and 1Password that you can check out here.